Today in Mark's Game Room, we are inviting you to join us in a campaign of one of the most famous military campaigns in history, the 1815 Waterloo Campaign. And we'll see how our game stacks up against the narrative put out in the 1970 film Waterloo. You will play the role of Napoleon, while Austin and Ben will play Wellington and Blucher. Can you defeat them and make Napoleon master of Europe once again? Or will you, like Rod Steiger's Napoleon, meet your own Waterloo? They will chain you, like Prometheus, to a rock, where the memory of your own greatness will gnaw you. Join us. Hey, welcome to Mark's Game Room. Today we are really excited to finally include you, our viewers, in one of our games. We're going to do Napoleon, the Columbia Games block game, as a campaign, and you are going to play Napoleon. Now this is the fourth edition copy of the game, and I liked this game so much in the day that I actually have a shrink-wrapped factory in-box copy of the original that I paid $14 for. So this game is really great, and fourth edition is really close to the original. Now the rules are online and you can download them here at the link below if you want to read the rules. We'll also put a link in the comments. One of the fun parts of this game is when combat occurs, you move the pieces onto a battle board and fight a simple Napoleonic battle, which we are going to convert into a miniatures game. We will make the campaign moves on the big map and then fight the battles in miniature. It should be a lot of fun. The first decision that you will need to make as Napoleon is which key cities are going to be the focus of the French offensive. Now to win, the French need to hold two of three cities, which are Liege, Brussels, and Ghent. You have to hold two out of those three. They also need to defeat both armies. They need to eliminate nine Prussian units and eight Anglo-Allied. You eliminate units by defeating them in battle, and also when you hold these cities for every turn, the French hold liege, two Prussian pieces leave the game. For every turn, the French hold Brussels, one ally leaves, and the same for Ghent. So what you're looking at here is Ben and Austin's setup for the game. Matt will deploy back here in France to launch his offensive. So you can see that the Allies and the Prussians are really spread out. It's going to take several turns for them to get their army together. Where the French are going to be able to start really concentrated if they want in this area and push one way or the other. And you're going to vote to tell Matt which way you think Napoleon should go. The armies of Wellington and Blucher have separated, sire. Separated? Yes, sire. Separated? Yes. <laughs> I wonder what history will say of them. <laughs> you know what we do, Sult? We push Blucher's side, then we march on to Wellington, eh? Yes. Your opponents are going to be two Mark's Game Room stalwarts. We got Ben, who's going to play Blucher commanding the Prussians, yeah. and Austin, who's going to be the Duke of Wellington commanding the Anglo-Dutch. All right, what do you think your chances are, guys? This is bullshizer. <laughs> There's thousands of them, and two of us. It's They're going to need 100,000 to have a chance. Come on, you know there's going to be some keyboard warrior out there that's going to come up with a master plan. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it, it's, it's old Boney at his old shenanigans again. I, you know, huzzah, let's just give him the bayonet. <laughs> All right, you, hear it, you heard it here. Take on these guys. Bring it. <laughs> if Marshal Blucher stays in Belgium, I stay too. On that promise, Lord Duke, Blucher would tie his men to trees if necessary. These four roads here. Quatre bras. He's bound to go for them, sir. If we can't hold him there, I'll stop him here. So you're going to play the role of Napoleon and a chance to take out Ben and Austin. And Matt here will be your Marshal Ney. He'll be interpreting your orders and making them a reality on the game table. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do my best to interpret your commander's intent and make it a reality on the battlefield. All right, so make sure you vote early and often. Wellington won't hold us an hour. 
Not with that boy of ass of his. English, Brunswickers, Belgians, and God knows what else. To cast your vote on how Napoleon should begin the campaign, click on the Community tab on our YouTube page. That will take you to the poll. Should Matt move against the Prussians and Liege first? Or Ghent and Brussels to take out Wellington? Or should he take the central position and move on Brussels and Liege simultaneously? Cast your vote and write out your ideas for Matt, a.k.a. Marshall Ney, in the comments. Voting ends on November 25th. The video with the beginning of the game will drop on November 30th. Until then, we have some exciting videos which try to answer the question. Where is Gushin? I need those men! Where is Gushin? Could Napoleon have won the Battle of Waterloo if Marshal Grouchy had marched to the sound of the guns?